Oh, ballet etudes. This is so wonderful. And um, it's a tradition for a lot of Arizona yeah. families. Love the Nutcracker. It's back in person. Uh, Corey's there at the Chandler Center for the Arts. Oh, look at you. Hey, Corey. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Appreciate it. Thank you, fan, uh, very much. Look, here they are, the ladies and gent of Ballet Etudes. Yeah, look at all of their faces. Look at their faces closely because soon you'll be seeing them from a distance because they're going to be dancing their heads off. And Elise, we get together again. I was so glad that we were here. Oh, thank you very much. Um, appreciate that. 61 is feeling good so far. Uh, but uh, last time we got together, I think it was September, wasn't it? Yeah. You were talking about auditions and getting ready for this very show. Tell me, when are we going to see these dancers perform? Uh, what's your schedule? This Friday, November 27th, is opening weekend mm -hmm. for us here at Chandler Center for the Arts. And we run here through December 5th. Then we have two weekends at the Mesa Arts Center beginning December 11th wow. through the You're 19th. You're traveling. You're on the road. You get a truck and a bus and everything. <laughs> well, ladies, take your places if you would. At least we'll come back this way. DJ, hit the music and we'll talk about this beautiful production as we get going. And what a beautiful place to Thank perform. You. This, we love this is a lovely Center for house. The Arts. We are so happy to be back in this venue. We consider it our home. This is our 35th annual production of The Nutcracker. And we have beautiful new sets, new choreography, new fight scene. And here you're seeing the court fairy. This is Lizzie. She opens act two. Oh, she's just terrific. And give me an idea of the, the age range of your dancers and uh, where, where do they come from? The dancers come from all over the valley. We do have a studio, Ballet Etudes, in Gilbert. Our dancers are ages 7 to 18, plus we have some guest artists. Like mm -hmm. you see here, this is Fan, but Haley is one of our dancers. Gosh. Well, Fan's terrific. And you do need somebody to lift Wonderful. all these girls, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. And uh, what, what's your advice for the first-time Nutcracker family? They're going to bring their little ones. They've never seen the show before. What do you, what do you tell them? Come and be prepared to enjoy. It's a beautiful production. It's entertaining for the whole show. This, there's a synopsis, a story of Clara, of course, who receives her nutcracker from her godfather, Drosselmeyer. Mm -hmm. And she has a dream, a magical dream, yeah. where she goes to the land of sweets. And so that's what we see. Gotcha. How are you doing? Oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, I could watch this go all day long. And we've got more dancing coming your way as we roll through the next uh, a couple of minutes. I don't know why I, my face is on the air when we could be seeing what's happening back here. Uh, but more coming your way from Ballet Etudes production of The Nutcracker coming up here in just a few minutes. See you then. Look at those beautiful yeah, faces. I love it. Welcome back, Ballet Etudes, The Nutcracker, and Corey is there live this morning. Got a great venue out there in yeah. Chandler, sir, and I uh, love how hard all these kids have worked to get to this point yeah. and showing their stuff. Amazing. I know. Are you thirsty for some Spanish hot chocolate? Oh, we've got it for you. And this is just one of my favorite parts of the show, Act Two, when we meet all of the different sweets, right? Yes, Denise? in the land of the sweets. And of course, finishing with the Sugar Plum and Cavalier, Sugar Plum Fairy. Yeah. Wow. And a fan, as you said, uh, the fellow here is a guest artist, right? He's a From guest Ballet, artist. Arizona. Yes. And are also, so are our Sugar Plum Fairy and Cavalier as well. Gosh, yeah. But the ladies that you see all today are our company dancers, mm -hmm. and they are all ages. Mm, these ladies are about 13 to 17 years uh -huh. old. They're just, uh, you know, it's, we love what we cannot do ourselves as, as laymen. You were a dancer. Uh, I never did. I mean, I, I can hip hop a little. I beatbox very, very little. I'm sure but we could find a place for you in our production. Oh, I'm sure you could. <laughs> uh, but it's just so lovely to watch. And uh, I love to see the little ones come to their first ballet. And it's usually the Nutcracker. Yeah. They're all dressed up. They're so excited. And I should say, for the moms watching out there, if you've got a, a little boy in the house and a little girl, she may want to come, but the boy may say, mm, 
No. Oh, it's a great production for boys as it well. It is. Because there's a lot of the fighting. Scene, the fight scene, of there's course, stabbing. is wonderful. Yes. Yeah. There is, and a giant mouse trap as I know. well. <laughs> <laughs> That's it my is thing. a wonderful, fun show for the it whole family. It really is. And uh, who are we watching now? This is Sof Sophia Morgan. Mm -hmm. She is our marzipan fairy. Boy. You can always tell by that hat. It's like a marzipan <laughs> hat, is exactly. it not? Exactly. <laughs> it's supposed to look a little sweet and delicious. <laughs> it really does. Well, now, she's, now she's bringing her gang on. Yes. Maybe it's, you know, probably don't call it a gang. No, no, no. It's her corps de ballet. That's what I meant to her say. Core. <laughs> yes, it's her core. This is our 35th annual production. It is a beautiful show for the whole family. Ballet Etudes is a non-profit youth company here in the Valley. And with our 35th season, it's a beautiful, exciting show with the beautiful scenery and set changes. And being a youth ballet, it is a beautiful show for children. It's fun to come and see children of their own age. And you open Friday night. And shows Friday, two on Saturday. Two on Saturday and a matinee on Sunday as well. Great. And uh, what's the website we should check out? Our website is balletetudes.net. We have links to our ticket sales. You can also find tickets at the Chandler Center for the Arts box office. And then later in December, we'll be at the Mesa Arts Center. Tickets can be purchased there as well. Look at Sophia go. Yep. Oh, Beautiful recovery. She's just terrific. <laughs> Well, thanks for sharing everybody with us this morning. And again, uh, Friday night is the night if you want to see opening night for sure. And I would like to invite your founding director over here, founding oh. artistic director. Oh, Sharon Miko. Now, she's very shy. She doesn't generally like to um, be in the public eye. No, she doesn't, but she is our founding director. Is there a warrant out for her? No. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't going to ruin her Thanksgiving if she Not. did make it on camera. Ladies, beautiful. Come on up, everyone. Uh, they're applauding at home. I know you can't hear it on the air, but thank you so much for sharing all of your talents. These are the dancers. Up. There we go. I'm here back in the studio of Ballet Etudes. Uh, you'll love the show. That's not Cracker. Coming up, uh, mm -hmm. starting opening Friday, running through this weekend and next weekend here at Chandler Center for the Arts and then Mesa Arts Center the weekend that follows. All right. We'll see you again soon, you Yeah, guys. beautiful performance, Aww. ladies. Very well Bravo. done. Very well done. How it fun to get really out to the show. Is.